Hi everyone, I'd like to just contrast two different visualization platforms with regards to their content libraries for you today. The one is uh, Lumion and the other one is Enscape, two very popular solutions. Uh, they play in different segments of the market. Enscape is uh, virtual reality capable, as you can see on the screen over here. Whereas Lumion gives you the most amazing renders um, if you know what you're doing. So, but what about content? Well, Enscape uh, works from as a plugin in, in Revit, so you need a Revit family. And uh, Lumion is basically agnostic and you can bring uh, content in from everywhere and anywhere basically and um, render that but it's a composed scene and the elements don't port back into Revit and so that is what we'll just quickly have a look at. Uh, first of all this is Lumion, there is Revit, there's a wonderful bridge between the two here if we press play. It's a live link between the two so while you're busy designing you can also uh, have a look around the uh, Lumion model. Is going to move this up a bit. And then we're able to place content from a very extensive library. There are trees, there are cars, there are plants. It's huge. There are an enormous amount of elements that, over here that you can place within this model. And what you don't see over here, you can just download that from any old library and you can place this element in here. If, it looks, if the guy looks like he's walking, then what that means is that you can actually animate them as well. But there is a person and they're kind of animated. So it's, it's, it's much more realistic. It's meant to be realistic. And, um, but it, it plays in a different segment of the market. All right. If we go back into Revit, that person is no longer there. In the background also you can see that there's a photometric um, there's a photometric person standing over there. It's not the one that we placed. Sorry, I shouldn't choose ray trace over here. It's going to slow my computer down completely. Just realistic will do. Computer struggling a little bit. going to realistic over here and you can see it's not the same person that we placed previously it's somebody else all right and that's the live link and you can also export it as a DAE but whatever you place in Lumion is not going to be within your Revit model and the, photo, the photometric uh, the um, photorealistic uh, models are also not within uh, the Lumion model all right Then we get to the other platform, Enscape, well that works a little bit differently. That actually places a Revit family within your project, but you still won't be able to see the um, photorealistic content within the Revit model. However, you will be able to see that within the Enscape platform. So, zoom out here a little bit and let's go and place um, some Enscape content over here. There's Enscape, it's also got an asset library. And in the asset library, let's have a look at people. You can see it's not too uh, shabby either. There's quite a bit of um, content in here. Let's have a look at people. And let's place somebody in the model.
actually seem to be a little bit invisible over here. And that is, in fact, the model. Right, so it's been placed in the on the wrong level with an offset, but there we go. You can see it comes in as a bit of a <laughs> sorry, it is a mesh. You'll see this clearly when you go into shaded mode or hidden hidden line mode. It comes in as a mesh file. Right. And within the family, it's got its own very sort of properties over here, the Enscape asset ID and so on. So it's not really something that you've got control over. But when you do go and have a look at this in the um, visualization, Just waiting for it to load quickly but when you do look at the visualization then you'll see that that is now photorealistic content within Enscape. So the big difference is the families are actually within Revit as well as opposed to just being contained within the Lumion file. Right. And those other models we placed on the wrong level and this is the correct one. Static, it's not animated, you can't make them animated either, but it's good for visualization. But I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing the difference between the two platforms and uh, how you can place families within the model. And enjoy your visualization and Revit. Until next time, enjoy your week.